Hi, this is James Blunt. It's James, a wine guy, here to talk about this producer. This is Dinacia Vivanco. Now, this is a producer based in Rioja, in uh, Briones, to be precise, which is in Rioja Alta, which is in the western portion of Rioja, and uh, west of the capital, which is Logroño. I'll talk more about that in a moment. It's one of my favorite cities, um, just for enjoying great food and wine. Now, this is a, uh, first of all, I love the bottle shape here, and it's a hard, hard to know where do you begin with talking about Dinacia Vivanco. But the bottle shape is very intriguing. So first thing you see, it's that um, proverbial, um, you know, book cover. And you're going to see here, there's a very standard burgundy uh, bottle. And you notice it's very elongated and uh, compared to these bottles, which seem to be almost like almost a square bottle, like a rectangle. And that has a historical significance. So you, if you visit, which I recommend highly, if you are in Rioja to visit, because they have this great museum called Museo uh, de la Cultura del Vino. And it's a fantastic way of understanding the culture of wine that we have today where it came from and i've never seen so many say bottle openers wine bottle openers ever um just an amazing beautiful artistic uh capture of what um this beautiful substance has created so you're going to see implements early on and uh going back from um i believe the greeks to the egyptians going forward uh throughout european history and so forth and you get a great feel for this. So you see these bottles are evolving from this historical period where um, bottles were taking shape. And so they utilize this and uh, definitely cast their own bottles. So the Ignacio Vivanco on the bottom and their logo on top. And uh, these two bottles definitely show one is meant for the U.S. market. Here you see the U.S. Surgeon General warning on the back. This one you don't because you don't have to. It's for the domestic market in Spain. Now, four generations of winemakers, um, four generation of uh, involvement in the wine business and winemakers. Now, they have three different lines. They have the Vivanco line, which is a Blanco, a white wine. The Rosado, which is a rosé wine. The uh, Dinastia Vivanco, which is this one here, the Crianza. And the Reserva wine. And uh, the Colección Vivanco, which is this one here, Cuatro Varitalis. And it contains the four most important varietals in Rioja, which they grow, and this is Tempranillo, Mazuelo, Graciano, and Garnacha. They do two vineyards specific. One is called Paricelas de Garnacha and Paricela de Graciano. And um, like, for example, this bottle here is probably under 900 cases per year. So it's a very special bottle. I picked this up in Spain, brought it back with me to be that memory point that I can always look at and say, ah, oh, I was there. And it's this is a beautiful country. It is absolutely wonderful. It's... Um, alluring gorgeous and um in the background here you see Briones, and it's an absolutely captivating beautiful city and you can see that once on foot foot on ground you're tasting so many beautiful gorgeous signatures of rioja and uh, i've been fortunate enough also to meet the winemaker um, Rafael Vivanco, and he studied in Bordeaux, so he's bringing together so many of the most modern techniques to Rioja, and I think that is just really what happens in this bodega, in this producer. You're finding they just bring not only just the best quality, the best production capabilities, the most modern making uh, or modern um, equipment to make the best wines, and I think this is reflective of this beautiful wine. So in general, Rioja just just produces some amazing wines that um, age really well and for a very long time. And uh, so the signatures are here, and you can find these bottles pretty readily. I would say obviously not the Colección. This is a little harder to find, but this is a larger production wine, and I believe this is found say in California for under fifteen dollars which I think is a really good um, uh, price point considering the quality of the wine. It's um, absolutely beautiful and lyrical. So I'll talk more about these wines. This is, I'm not going to open up for a long time. I'll just be honest. I'm just going to hold that one for quite some time. This one I'll open up shortly and give you some uh, distinct flavor uh, notes on this wine because I think it's absolutely wonderful and something that I look forward to. And um, going back to Logroño, if you get an opportunity, do visit and definitely visit this bodega and the museum. You can also, there's a restaurant there, you can eat there. Beautiful views of the, um, the Cantabria Mountains and a really wonderful experience. And Logroño is known as being a tapas capital of Spain. And uh, you can uh, go on this tapas crawl and uh, it's absolutely wonderful because it's inexpensive. You can eat it, uh, each of the bars uh, for probably two to three euros, and um, you can 
eat till you are extremely full and uh, you've spent very little money. I, I can't uh, recall spending more than maybe 15 euros. I can't, I think maybe no more than $18 for dinner. And that includes wine in almost every stop I went to, which is amazing. So can't say enough about this beautiful country and uh, the Nasi Vivanco. So again, uh, I'll review this in another video. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesawineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.